You're prepping for your first date. The butterflies are going, the anticipation, the anxiousness, making sure the credit card doesn't hit a particular limit or you go overdraft. And you're looking around at your fragrance collection and you're deciding which one is gonna be the perfect one to wear on this date. However, as important as it is to choose the right fragrance, it is equally important to select. It is equally important to make sure you don't select the wrong fragrance. Fragrance is all about that muscle memory. And if we know some women, they never forget. And when they claim they forgot, they didn't. So what I'm going to do is recommend five fragrances that you should absolutely never wear on a first date because it can trigger her reminding her of her ex. Just so I can put you on to five potential fragrances that you should not wear on a first date to avoid reminding her of her ex. <laughs> Bless you, morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy, C3U to the B to the A. Today's video is sponsored by MrCubano.com. Go to MrCubano.com for all your Cubano needs. In rare occasions do women separate from their exes on a very amicable space. Like it's always some sort of tension. It reminded me of this or that party or that he fucked my sister. You know, something like that. The last thing you wanna do is smell or remind her of her ex. You wanna show her how new, how different and introduce her to a world that she's never experienced before of possible true love. You're just trying to get pussy. So since I have a lot of New York, New Jersey, Connecticut fans, if she happens to be from Dykeman, Uptown Manhattan, Harlem, the Bronx, you do not want to wear this fragrance on your first date, Versace Oh Fresh. There is a great possibility that her ex cheated on her with a chick from Dykeman wearing this fragrance. He was definitely wearing skinny jeans, no socks, Louis Vuitton loafers, a good looking tight fitting Louis Vuitton shirt with the matching belt, and a fresh haircut with a side part but he has no hair. Versace Oh Fresh is a great mass appealing freshy fragrance that has people in New York City party scenes going wild. It was a staple in a lot of people's collections, but there's a great possibility, a great possibility that not her previous, but the previous, previous ex was wearing that particular fragrance when they went out clubbing and courting and twerking and eating sushi with plantains in it. So Versace O Fresh is one that you should not wear on a first date. Next one. If you were married for over a decade and you're getting back into the marriage scene, if you're in my age bracket of 40 plus, and then you just feel like an old school player vibe and decide to wear something like this, throwback polo sport, because if she's your same age bracket, chances are you recognize that scent profile. And although her ex may have gone through a variety of different fragrances, that one in particular will spawn the bad memory. That Horton Hears Who brain will never forget the time that he embarrassed her at the family cookout or invited his mother over without telling her and she forgot to clean the house and she felt some type of way because they know they don't like each other. So if you're an old head in my age bracket and you think you're getting back into the dating scene rocking polo sport, you got another thing coming, don't do it. Next one. Now, did you think that there was any possibility that I wasn't going to list this? Blue de Chanel EDT. You know that has to be in like the top five fragrances that her ex is gonna be wearing. That shit is sold so many bottles that there is no way, unless he's a dude that sprays Axe, that he wasn't wearing that fragrance. There's just no way. It's the ultimate boy fragrance in the game. It's good. But, you know, the ex is gonna be wearing it. Just don't wear that on your first date. Let it marinate, get to know her a little bit, ask some questions, and then kind of feel it out. Most likely he left some shit in the apartment just to let you know that there's still presence in her life of him. So just be on the lookout. Don't wear it on the first one. Next one. You know he's definitely wearing a Ventus. You know the probabilities of wearing a Ventus on that first date. Should the... They like it. The problem is that the ladies really enjoy Aventus. They really do. It speaks to them. If they know the scent and they've purchased it for the ex, they know how much money it is. So they're gonna get that preconceived notion that, yo, daddy got a little bit of breast. He's definitely gonna take me on some steak and sushi type shit, right? But brain starts firing. It's like, damn, he's probably successful. He smells good. He's put together well. He's gonna fuck me over. He's gonna be a scumbag. He's got side bitches. Let me check his phone, date number two. We just, how do we get here? That's why I'm gonna say not to not wear Aventus, just refrain from wearing it like the first three dates and see how things develop. Let her get to know you. And then you can spray that on and then she can start questioning you. Let me see your DMs. Oh, you got WhatsApp. Oh, there's a second phone. 
You a businessman, right? Let the fuckery begin, next one. And last and certainly not least, ultimate fuckboy, Paco Rabanne 1 million. It just happens, it's a sweet, sexy fragrance that's youthful, but still loved by a ton of dudes. I think that should automatically be a red flag. If that shit is on your countertop and you're going on a date, don't wear that. You know that seven dudes that you chill with probably got the same scent, so what are the chances that her ex having the same scent? High probability. Don't get me wrong, it's a good fragrance. I personally prefer the flankers of that fragrance, but nevertheless, people outside of the fragcom world don't really care about the flankers. They're looking for something that definitely smells good, is gonna get them attention, has that mass appeal quality, amazing sillage, and performs outstanding. One million does that but it's gonna come with some repercussions, I'm telling you. Short, simple, and to the point. Five fragrances that I think you should not wear on a first date. If you're trying to make a great first impression and not remind her of the dude who just did her dirty, don't do it. Like, share, and subscribe. Go to mysticcubano.com for all your Cubano needs and let me know in the comments below what are five fragrances that you absolutely will not wear on the first date because it will remind her of her ex. I love y'all motherfuckers from the heart and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Smooches. Who the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough rugged and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey, for all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, we don't talk of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.